Hi, all you perfume lovers out there. This is going to be a really short video. I just wanted to come online and say why I broke my no-buy yesterday. I, I went on a no-buy kind of from mid-December, and I just decided, you know, I'm not really bringing in any money right now, and therefore I should not buy any perfume. Uh, and this has been like both for decants and full bottles. I'd make an exception when I have like a big perfume meetup to spend a little bit of money, but not very much. But um, I've said, you know, until I find a job. And... Um, I've been working, you know, half time at this uh, at this company. We take care of, you know, the elderly, the sick, uh, people that need help in the home, and I've been working really hard with that, like for about two or three days a week for about eight weeks. So I decided when a deal came up on a fragrance that I have wanted for a long time, I decided that this was this was um, the right time for me to break the no buy. I mean, it is now at the end of February, so I'm pretty happy anyway about, you know, staying away from um, buying anything for such a long time. And the fragrance that came up is, some, is, is one that I rarely see uh, on sale secondhand. It's not much spoken about, but it is a beautiful fragrance, and it is 400 from Zerjoff. So it's now on, on the way to me in the mail, uh, and it's it, it, it comes from the Join the Club collection, you know, the blue bottles from Zerjoff. And it's kind of a, some people describe it as a female Naxos. Um, and there's, there are a few notes in common, like they're, they're uh, but I find this one to be, uh, 400 is like a really nice, slightly tropical floral honeyed fragrance. And it has like tobacco, but it's like tobacco flowers, I think. Um, I looked at my notes, um, it has like ylang ylang white tobacco. I think white tobacco is actually the, the, the flowers from the plant. I'm not quite sure, but it also has like bitter orange. So it never goes overly sweet. I see, I think I really appreciate that bitter note. I haven't worn this in a while, so I really hope that I will still like it. Um, but I remember just loving it so much. Uh, but I thought it was a little expensive to buy it. And I was just kind of like interested in a lot of different categories. Um, but when, when I got a good deal on it, I decided to uh, to go for it. So um, I'm really happy about that. I, what I remember about wearing this fragrance was that I just felt so... I mean, the performance was just great, and I just felt so well put together. It has a patchouli base, patchouli vetiver, and cedar wood, and it also has vanilla. Um, yeah, I'm just... Uh, this is like a good... I, I think it's quite feminine. But I mean, I'm sure men or women could wear it. But like Naxos is like much deeper and sweeter. Like I think Naxos is like really sweet. And I think Naxos has a cinnamon note, doesn't it? Let's see. I put them next to each other. I actually have made a video comparing these two. And I see that it does not actually have cinnamon. But there's something really dense and strong about Naxos. And I think maybe it's... Maybe it's the, the like the, the sweetness... Like there's a lot of honey in there, or and the tobacco is really sweet in that one. Um, so I, I used to have a bottle, but I sold it. And a little okay, that that was that was that. And then I'll tell you also what I'm wearing today. The scent of the day is um, patchouli nosy bay um, from Paris Monte Carlo, and nosy bay is the name of an island um, where the inspiration I guess came from to make this fragrance. And I think this is a is um, much lighter and fresher fragrance than like psychedelic or patchouli from Perfume Aroma, but it also has a little bit of a salty quality. Remind it, it's pretty close, I think, to Essence de Patchouli from the same house and also Ambergris from the same house. If you're familiar with with those fragrances, it also reminds me a little bit of Bijou Romantique from from Etat Libre de Range. So it's kind of a little bit a little bit ambery, but not like a deep dark amber. It's not a heavy fragrance at all. And it's just, the projection The projection isn't great, so I have to like go to my, I mean the opening is beautiful, um, but then I kind of lose it, like I have to go to my arm. I'm not quite happy with the projection, so I will not be buying a bottle of it, but I finished it today. So I just, um, that was today's finished decan, so I'm kind of going through like those I have very, very little left of. So I'll be bringing in some new things. And then I'll also give you an update on uh, Tubereuse Nu. Uh, two, naked two bros that I uh, my friend came by. She wanted to buy some decants for me, um, some empty ones, and then she she tried um, uh, this new two bros from Tom Ford, and it is a difficult fragrance. And I kind of got the, the opportunity to smell it off of her, which is a little different than wearing it myself. Um, somehow I don't know if it's her skin that's different or it's if it's just different when it's coming 
from the other direction, but I really, really don't like this fragrance. Um, the florals they use, I think it's both like lily, jasmine, tuberose, almost go urinal kind of. They, they smell like pee a little bit. And then I think the problem is that it's combined with like um, suede musk and like, was it civet? Was some, no, I think it's oud. It's like an, a, there's something overly animalic in there. Or it's, I think there's maybe there's a clash between these note categories, perhaps like the white florals with these like a little bit animal animalic type of base notes that don't work together. I'm uh, not a fan. Um, I, I I didn't think it was this bad on myself, but I wasn't sure about what I thought about on myself. I couldn't smell it quite as much when I was wearing it myself, I guess. But on her, I she had one spray. Uh, and we were kind of walking around each other. We're kind of showing each other <laughs> exercises. Uh, we're talking about like, you know, what works on a sore backs and things like that. So I was kind of getting these whiffs, which is really funny how like I really, really realized that it is not a fragrance for me. Uh, okay, and so tonight, um, this is this is gonna wear off. This will this this will wear off, and in about four hours, I'm gonna go to this event, <laughs> a speed dating event. I've never been to one, but I guess that I'll be going like on you know like 20 dates in three hours. Like you get four minutes with each person or something like that. First, I guess they gather the group and everyone gets a drink, and then they just kind of place us at little, at little tables, and then it's either the guys or the girls that kind of rotate, and it's for a specific age group. I think it's like 45 to 55. And I just thought it'd be fun, but now like both my friends that signed up are like on va they're going they're on they're either traveling or um, I don't I think I'm going like by myself, which I feel kind of a little awkward. But <clears throat> and the question is what to wear, you know. So I think it'll be something like like opera maybe like I'll wear something or Granada that I know is like a super safe bet <laughs> maybe something like that. <laughs> anyway, that was all for today, guys. I just had this quick little update. Bye bye.